So here we have seoblog.com. This is just a random blog I pulled up. But let's say you wanted to figure out where you were ranking for certain keywords. Now I want to show you a number of different programs and websites you can use to do that. You can use a website. I'm going to show you in a second. It's from sitemapdoc.com. And once you get to the website, if you click on the tab at the top where it says Google SERP Rank Checker, it's in light blue right now. And all you have to do is enter your web address. You put in the search term that you want to see where you rank for. You click search. And it's just going to check the top 64 results. So if you're not in the top 64, it's not going to show you, but we're here at position 24. And it's going to give you all the websites that are above you right now so you can look at your competition and see what you might be able to do better. This is serps.com slash tools slash rank underscore checker. You can just look up serps rank checker. Basically the same concept except you get a, a, a few more options here. You can um, set a certain zip code because search results are going to be different for everybody depending on where you live. Um, you can also choose between Google and Yahoo and set your country because that will also affect what results you see. Same thing for um, Google Plus ones and uh, who you have in your circles on Google Plus. That will also affect your search results as well as your previous search history. So this is KPMRS. Same concept. I just wanted to give you a number of different options here. You'd put in the keywords you want to see where you rank for, the web address, and then you could choose between a number of different uh, developed countries. We're back to the serps.com rank checker here. And this is telling you you're number 26. So like I said, it's going to vary depending on where you're searching from and previous search history. Now I want to show you some programs here. This one is from trafficTravis.com. And once you've installed it, you're going to open up the program and you'll see this. You want to click on create a new project in your dashboard. And you can give it a name. You can uh, put in your, your URL for your website. You can even include your sitemap and the keywords that you're looking to figure out where you're ranking for. This gives you a ton of options for search engines, basically all across the world, Bing, Yahoo, Google, including YouTube and Google Video. So if you have certain uh, keywords that are ranking for video, or maybe you made a video for your website, you can see where that ranks, where that ranks. And then finally, Longtail Pro. This is a program you can use to check the rankings of of your sites or your keywords in the major search engines. You can type in a bunch of keywords and it'll tell you where you're showing up in the search results. Now what you can also do is put in your web address or whatever page that you're trying to see where you rank for for a certain keyword and then the keyword and all the results will be from your website and it'll rank them in order of importance based on um, how well you're ranking for that keyword. For backlinks here, the article "Can a website run well without back or rank well without backlinks?" is their number one article for that term. You just want to remember, though, that don't go crazy with checking your rankings every day. Sometimes you can move one or two positions day by day or week per week. Don't put too much importance on weekly changes. A good a good rule of thumb is to check it monthly and see what you can improve. See where you went down figure out how you can get back up.